Okay. Um, first things first, I still sound like shit. I've sounded a lot worse than this, believe it or not, at the event. But I'd have to release this video because it's probably the craziest event I've ever been to. And there's a lot of stuff that happened that you guys don't know and that you ought to know. Now, disaster struck pretty much instantly, right? Um, after a 10 hour flight, we land here, customs about, we had to wait about three or four hours in a queue. Like, what the hell is going Ooh, on here? And I'm sure that's right. Customs? Three to four hours, eh? That freaking sucks. Like, what the hell is going on here? And I'm sure that's where I caught my shit. So yeah, off to a fantastic start. But anyways, day after that, it's practice games. And um, yeah, listen guys, seeing a god squad like that, right? Because I've not got a bad team at home, but I've never tried any of these players. <sighs> Put it this way. There's a reason why someone like Bateson is getting 30 and 0 because phew, these players are next level. It's the most paid to win FIFA ever. And listen, I'm not gonna lie, I guess, I guess that's how it should be, you know, these players being that good. But it's just EA fucked up by obviously making it impossible at home to wear these players I know you, unless you put, put a vast amount of money in, which is mm -hmm. ridiculous. But yeah, first thing, honestly, um, I think it was Spendy or Gorilla telling you guys, so oh, pay to it, you know, it's not, it's not much of a thing. You always have to control these players. Oh, trust me, he's chatting absolute shite. The difference between a Pogba and a Hillet. It's yeah. night and day, and there's yeah. Blue Mbappe, best player on the game, R9, um, Hillet, yeah, the, the defenders, Varane, Ramos, Van Dijk, they're, they're ridiculous, absolutely crazy. Um, so, yeah, when I tried to create my squad um, straight away, I couldn't even put my name on the squad. <laughs> I'm like, oh, here we go again. Uh, so that's crazy. And anyways, then... EA gave us this little sticker, right, to put on your phones, and well, you know damn well what I done with mine. <laughs> so I was feeling okay, perfectly yeah. fine, right? And then all of a sudden, I lost my voice. I quite literally lost my voice. I'm like, what's going on? I was speaking to people perfectly fine, and then boom, I couldn't even speak. They put something in my water, or what? Anyways. <laughs> so then they go ask me to do a photo shoot, right? And I'm like, I come back and no one's there. I'm like, what's going on? They're like, they went to do a feedback session. Oh, cool. So they go to a oh, wait, 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 wait. feedback session. Yeah. No, but anyways. So then they go ask me to do a photo shoot, right? And I'm like, cool. I come back and no one's there. I'm like, what's going on? They're like, they went to do a feedback session. Cool. So they go to a feedback session right when they go ask me to do a photo shoot, so I'm not there. Coincidence? I don't know. Whatever. I wake up the next day, it's game day, and I'm feeling like absolute shit. I, I'm in a bad state. Not only is my voice gone, I'm ill. Like, really ill now. You know, if it's a physical sport, you don't play, you're out. But if it's a video game, people think oh, it's just a video game, right? But I am playing just about the worst game ever created, right? In my current state, that's not ideal. So I try to play a couple of practice games. I could only manage to. I was feeling like shit. I was this close to pulling out. I'm like, I can't play like this. It's just, I can't. Then I'm like, let's try to take it game by game. And then just see how it goes. I had Ducks the first game. One of the best players in the world this year. I was looking forward to the game because he doesn't abuse the game's flaw, so I knew it was going to be one of them. Like, it'd be a good game to Ooh. watch. One of the best players in the world. Then just see how it goes. I had Ducks the first game. Who? Oh, Dax. Oh, Dax is... Oh. Dax plays football too. That's why I like I like watching him play too. One of the best players in the world this year. I was looking forward to the game because he doesn't abuse the game's flaw. So uh, yeah. I knew it was going to be one of them. Really good player a good too. Game to watch. Yeah. So they don't put our game on stream. I'm like, okay, whatever. Our game crashes midway through. No shock. So we're like ten minutes behind everyone, right? 
I equalized 90 minutes, I send that extra time. Not even showing our game. They're literally speaking about something. All the other games are finished. Obviously, ours is still going on because the game crashed. Really? And they're not showing it. Anyways, second game. There's a live game happening, and they were just discussing. Hmm. I lose the pain of extra time. Third game, I win 90 a minute. So I've got this four game coming up. As you can tell, by the way, every single game's close, right? And you know how I play. If those that know me from last year, I'm either going to hit five by you, or you're going to hit five by me. That's FIFA to me. Not this year, though. Every game has to be close. You know, every game has to be close. Because you, you really can't do shit, honestly. It's the slowest game I've ever played in my life. You know, you know my thoughts on it, right? I was right about everything, right? Anyways, four game coming up. I've got the Brazilian guy, and I'm feeling bad at this stage. I'm literally down by like three or four goals. I'm like, what is going on? I get it back. Take an extra time. Um, so again, my games went extra time again, right? So we're usually going to be behind everyone else. They still want to put my game on. He scores a corner extra time. I equalize. Last kick of the game was a kickoff. I take it to penalties. So they're not, they still wouldn't show shit. I lost some penalties, you know, penalties is whatever. It's a lot that we... So I was pretty upset at this stage because I ended that win to, to take me to the knockouts. Now I'm 2-2. Two two. I'm like, fuck's sake, you know, on penalties as well. Then I get back and I'm literally being told by the people that are watching the stream. They're like, dude, what's going on? Like, they literally did not even mention your name once. They're pretending like, like you're not even there. So that was upsetting me a lot. I'm like, listen, I sold an event for you, okay? <laughs> half the people watching, I don't want to be big-headed, but half the people watching are there for rewards. And the other half are there for me, okay? A whole fucking chat spamming my name and you like acting like I'm not even there. You know, she's typically eight, all right? That's not gonna antagonize everyone watching, nah. Come on, come on. Next day I woke up feeling a bit better. I've got goal machine, elimination game. This goal, this game was so much fun to watch. Finally, they show my game on stream. They, they really had no choice, right? They, they, they didn't have any other game. It's a massive game. And I made their broken game look good. Right? Yeah, good goals. I sent Goal Machine back to Canada. <laughs> no, yeah. broken Goal Machine. It was literally one of them games. Right? Everything was falling for me. My players wanted it more and I just capitalized on it. I just capitalized. He's a terrific player and I just, I just capitalized on the fact that it was going on my way. But I did make their broken game look good. I played the game how it should. None of that shit. Goal Machine is a really, really nice guy. Really nice guy. Love the guy. And um, every goal, every goal that was scored between these two was was great. I loved watching this game because, like, even this one right here, you'll see that Mbappe hits it in the white, but he still scores it. But he should score it. You know what I'm saying? Like, because you'll see this part right here. Like when I, if you guys watched the game review when I was reviewing this game, right here, the goal machine messed up because he overcommitted. Right, you can see that he touches this guy right here, and then pushes him up. Right. Switches to that guy, and then it's already over because you know it's on side if you're in the midway line. So once that run starts being made, he's through on goal, right? So all that space right away should already result in a goal because you're you're over committing with your defense because you want to get the ball back as quick as possible. Obviously, this is uh, this is the second leg. It's it's goal machine's fault, but it, this is one of those things where like you have to do it, right? You have to do this because you need to score the three goals. He needed three goals back, right? So he needed to overcommit. He overcommits, and it was good that he scored this, right? Because look at the defense, look at the defense, right? And then look at Mbappe. Mbappe's got like maximum pace, right? But they catch up, right? Look at the difference between the speeds, right? So when he gets that angle, that's the specific angles I always talk about when it comes to finishing, right? So this, a, a typical finesse shot, especially with team of the year Mbappe, should be going into the back of the net. He he whites this, he whites this and still scores it. And he should, because you shouldn't, I hate time finishing, right? So he tries to time finish it so that it's more consistent because he could miss this, right? Like a white finish is, is RNG, like he could miss this. Um, but it's good that he scored this. And it was the same thing with Gold Machine's two goals when he was through on goal. His second goal actually almost didn't go in, which, Almost upset at me because again, you should be rewarded for breaking down the defense because defensive defensive AI is very effective. So if you get into good positions, uh, you do deserve a goal, right? Um, yeah. 
that was on stream and the guy that wins, he was getting a mic. They wouldn't give me a mic. I'm like, let me speak to my goddamn paper, right? Oh, he scored that one too? Yo, that's another nice goal no too, mic. man. They wouldn't give me a mic. I'm like, let me speak to my goddamn paper. Nice. Right? Let me speak to the paper. They wouldn't give me it. So I'm pretty upset. It's boiling at this stage, but I can imagine. Last 16. I didn't see the third goal. I think that was, I guess that, that that's because they cut up the second game. They didn't show the whole thing, right? I've got Painter, the guy that beat me in the in the Swiss. Good player too. Now, for for those of you guys that know, if you, usually if the guy Painter Painter's a legend in the community. The guy's been around, man. That beat someone in Swiss. If you match again in knockouts, it's usually gonna go the other way. So I knew it was gonna go my way that game. It was 50-50, Don't get me wrong. It could have went either way. Went my way. I'm through the quarterfinals. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't pretend probably to get this far, considering all the circumstances. My first event. And again, the way I play, I just don't abuse anywhere near enough flaws to, 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 to probably go that step further. But there I was, quarterfinal. Again, I was livid though. I was boiling. And then this happened. About the Royal not being able to. I don't care if I can tell. Stop. Stop. Come on. Stop. 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 Good luck. I'm being very serious. Don't to watch TV. Okay, maybe, right, maybe they are. Why don't you. Kurt, you go, you go concentrate on your game, and we'll all be able to watch you. Let's win, huh? Tex is just laughing focus. in the background. You go focus. <laughs> Look no, at Tex, bro. <laughs> I actually told him. All I said was, the people are there, and the people are watching for me, not for you. Uh, Scuff, thank you for the prime sub, bro. I appreciate that, man. I'm, you scared the shit out of me. I was like watching, I was like, whoa. <laughs> I don't give a shit if I can barely speak. They need to hear me. now. Thank you, man. Obviously, looking back at this, um... But Tex's reaction in the background, he's just dying, bro. Yo, Tex, chat, I gotta say this right now. Because people, like, when I made that skill move, like, showing showing the skill move to people, um, the, uh, the one that he did where he did, like, the, the four, the four, um, Elasticos. Bro. Is that too consistent to do? Yes, but the fact that he did that at a, at a comp tournament really, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, because you have to, you, at that moment, you have to think, I'm going to do it at this angle. You know what I'm saying? Because then everybody could do it. Like, anybody could do it at the comp tournament, but he did it, right? He did it really well, too. Uh, at, like, he understood the angle in which it would work, right? Um, but, dude, Tex, uh, the reason why I like Tex's gameplay is because, like, obviously, before he was using the finesse drop, but, like, you had to um, because... Because it was just the meta, right? Like, because people forgot what the kid did when it, when it was like FIFA 18. FIFA 18 was nasty, right? And mediocre team still did really well too. Um, but then, like after the patch, dude. Like, if you guys saw the goals, uh, I was watching the the megabit game and the megabit game, dude. Really, really solid, man. He's, he he definitely deserves it. He's the type of kid that like you can see it in his gameplay. Like, I like that he plays football. He times the shots really, really well. Like, I give him full props, man. I didn't see. He didn't, he didn't really abuse mechanics. It was just, hey, he's just a really, really good skiller, you know? I understand. I that, that, like, the, 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 the Elastico is a really effective skill move, and they should probably make it where it's like the first one is fine. Like, the first time you do it is fine. Second time, there's a little bit more thing to it. And then the third and fourth, like, if you do it consecutively, obviously, it should be, like, garbage, right? Um, but the fact that he chose to do it during that exact time was very very impressive but two innocent people in an uncomfortable position because it's they've got nothing to do with it right it's obviously ea or e-league who decided to act like i'm not even there but it's i'm not gonna apologize because it's something i had to do but i did feel a bit bad and obviously the woman literally she pretty much panicked and on and on was just about assaulted me like um crazy and then again with Castro I know I've had my differences with him I told him even then I still hold him responsible and he's a part of the reason why I think the game is in the state that it's in obviously it's not just him it's what I've been saying the whole year with all of them um and yet nothing against him but my own issue was yeah the fact that he made more money than 95 percent of the pros did from this event and again good on him I'm not saying he should have been there but I think, yeah, him being there actually helps us, to be honest with you. You know, he's not doing any harm. My problem is, if that's where our prize money went, now we've got an issue.
Because let's get one thing straight, right? I finished top eight and I made $750 from it. What? That's not real. Seven hundred and fifty dollars. Yo, when I was watching Nick's video, when I was watching Nick's video, I'm like, there's, there's one, you know, the, you know, the video that he made that like FIFA 19 is off or whatever. When I watched this video, I was like, $750 is like really low. I, uh, I kind of like brushed it aside because I didn't think it was real. You know what I mean? I, I thought that was like just like he was just like saying it off of like a rant. But $750 to qualify for a main event where all the best players in the world are playing in it? That's really bad. Dude. You get like 50k for to qualify in Fortnite. <laughs> to qualify. They only gave $100,000 for the winnings? What? Bro, you make a million <laughs> in like one one lightning round. <laughs> Seven hundred fifty dollars. Now I'm not one to really give a shit about the money too much. You should, because you're a comp you're a competitive player. Seven hundred and fifty dollars for eighth place, bro. People get fifty k for qualifying. In Fortnite, qualifying. But that's ridiculous. A hundred thousand. Ooh, do not release the chakra. Okay, that's borderline. If I'm gonna stream, I need to control it. Okay, so. Wait a minute. So, okay, obviously that's on EA, that's on E-League, that's on whoever, but it's disgraceful. Now, quarter finals coming up, right? Um, and me and Castro are still going back and forth, literally before my game's about to start, and whatever. So you can imagine the frame of mind I was in. Now, this is something I have to work on, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's happened to me before with other events. I cannot let the emotions get the better of me, especially before a game like that. Right? I don't like this whole like ordeal though, guys. Like I'm being I'm being dead serious. This is why like even back then, like three, four years ago when I used to play the game even for fun, just division one gameplay all the time. Like I never wanna be involved with this. Like the competitive like commentating maybe if it got to a certain point, but this is just so much like unneeded drama and like for me personally like I, f I find it to be like unneeded drama you know what i'm saying like if i go to the event it's just to watch people play against each other commentate maybe possibly whatever right but at the end of the day i feel like like this is not this is not like me trying to be corny or anything like this but like especially if you're like a content creator you gotta do stuff, like, for the viewer, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're playing the game, like, for me, like, when I'm playing, I'm just playing and hanging out with you guys. But that's it, that's just, like... Do you guys, do you guys get what I'm trying to say? Like, I, when people, like, talk bad about, like, other content creators in my stream, like, they're most likely gonna get banned. Because we're just playing video games, and we're sharing it with other people. You know what I'm saying? Like, when drama used to happen back in the day for, like, certain things, like, oh, whether it's, like, coin buying and stuff, like, people always had to bring something up. And I'm just like, why? Just play the game. Hang out with your viewers, right? Do it for the viewers. Right? And just play. I don't know. Like, I don't know if it's just because, like, it's, like, a simple-minded way of thinking about it, but it's, like, I would never want to get involved in this scene because of this. Because, like, I just want to play and hang out. 
you know what I'm saying, Chad? Like, I have no intention of talking about, like, pro players, content creators, like, positively about them? Sure. You know, like, oh, I like his game style a lot. I want to copy his tactics so I can try it out. You know, just like like a viewer. Like, I'm like a viewer. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I want to see his tactics. I want to try out his tactics and try out, like, different things in FIFA. But, like, you know. I um. My head was all over. The first leg I played like absolute shit. Okay, he he beat me two one and I scored a shit goal. Second leg I upped it up a lot. I played a lot lot better. I had chance. I should have won it in ninth minutes, hundred percent. And I'll just show you an example like, you know, of the kind of you know goals I was conceding apart from that one. It, it, I need to see the opportunities. It was just like, but I don't think I they recorded it. These headers, right? And it is oh. not, I have to use a clip not from the event. But I considered about 10 of these goals. Right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. Look, look at that five at six Modric. I mean, is that prime Michael Jordan or five at six major yeah, Modric? Because yeah, yeah. I can't tell. Like, what is that, right? It's broken. It's, it's worse than it was in FIFA. The four. far post cross is just like, like your, your fullbacks and your defenders, not even your fullbacks, your defenders in those areas don't react well to it. There's, the crosses are random, right? Like, if you score a cross, it's, I, I don't think it's a skill. You just, you're just like abusing a mechanic that's there, right? That's why I, I never, I never, you guys, guys, when you guys watch my gameplay, I'll, how often do you guys actually see me cross the ball? I only cross the ball when it makes sense to. Does that make sense? Like, if the guy is alone in the near post, like, and there's no defender on him, like, I'll be like, yo, I'm going to cross this ball, right? Or if I see the, the transitioning run inside, okay, I'm going to cross this ball. But, like, I never... I only do it if I'm if my opponent is like is great at well you can't really say great at defending nowadays because defensive AI is like really effective but like if he's doing well defensively with that meta or whatever then yeah I'll be like yeah, you know what I'm just gonna pop in a random cross and see if I can get a header but like very very rarely do I do that I, if you guys see me ever cross the ball most of the times it's like it's it just makes sense to do in that situation you know what I'm saying but this like. I don't, I don't, I won't cross, in this situation, I won't cross the ball. I don't think I've ever, I, I don't remember the last time I've crossed the ball from this situation. I always usually go back or try to work my way back inside the 18 yard box because crossing is not rewarding. There's no like skill concept to it. It's like you cross it and it's either you win it or you don't, you know what I mean? And I think especially for something like that and competitive, like that's frustrating, you know, because you can miss a 1v1 green time finish and then like you can score something like that. It's crazy, right? 14, like, and I've not made my thoughts on the patch too clear, but all these people saying, oh, it's so much better now. It's not, okay? Let's pump the brakes. Is it better than the first side finesses? Maybe. Is it that much better? No. The... Yeah, it's like, yeah. The game is a pile of shit. It's a, it's, it's a cross-fast drop-back. Like, everyone played the same. Like, let's not get it twisted. It's still, it's still ridiculous. I'm... I don't want to act before I show my goals how, how I actually went out an extra time. I don't want to act like this only happens to me, okay? I won game 50-50 games that went my favor. I'll give you a couple of examples that how people went out at the same event, right? This cannot happen. It's what I keep saying. This is why I keep That's saying. disgusting. He's right. Saying this cannot be an eSport, not this game. We're playing for money. I, I don't care how shit the money is. And people are going out and... I don't know, man. Like, this one... Because the thing, the thing about this goal, okay, now that it's, like, really nerfed... We're playing for money. I, I don't care how shit the money is. I don't know how I feel about those. Like, now that it's, like, really nerfed... No time. Uh, he's coming in... This game. Coming in from the outside... I don't know, man. Coming in from the outside, going inside. Mm, nah, man. I don't know. I don't know, chap. Now that it's nerfed, right? It's a Pele. <sighs> Transition from the bottom to the top. Hitting it from... Hitting it from... Nah. I still think you need to take a touch. Because it's hard to hit that, like, in general. Like, if you guys play football in real life, like, it's coming in, and while the ball is coming in, you hit it perfectly. That's very hard to do, because you have to time your kick perfectly. 
Mm. And yeah, kind of. It depends on how the rest of this game went. Like, I want to see the other opportunities, but I, I kind of agree with him on this one now. Because it's like the ball is coming from here to here. He's transitioning upwards. It's a hard shot to hit, especially like that top right. You know what I'm saying? And I think he won because of that. Yeah, 90, 91st minute. Yeah. I don't want to kind of agree with. Let me see what else. That corner, though, was ridiculous. Going out in these manners. That's unacceptable. Now, okay, people will bring up tax as an example, as a counterexample. That's right? bullshit. Let me see the general play first. Hold on. But, now, okay. That's a good pass. Okay, people will bring up Doesn't deserve a goal because he switched there. Tax. Makes a pass there. Defender's on it. As an example, as a counterexample. No, so that's not good enough. I think if he like, if he gets, if he gets, bring up tax. If he takes a touch here and then green green shoots this or just a, like a regular shot, I wouldn't be opposed to that. But he makes the extra pass here and the defender's on him and he deflects off as, the defender. As an example, as a counter example, right? Listen, I give yeah. the kid credit, all the credit in the world, right? He's been dominating and he's been doing it in style as well and. It's one of them where like, yeah, it's a bit annoying because he's the only exception, right? But let's not get it twisted. He literally knows and abuses every single flaw in the game, right? And it's a game made for kids, FIFA 19. Let's not get it twisted, right? Full credit to him doesn't mean this game is good. It's a pile of shit and it's ridiculous. Now, how I went out. These are That's a deflection. But the, the, the area where he took the shot, should it's okay if that goes in. But the deflection... Uh, no. How I went out. That's a slide tackle block with no cursor. Slide tackle block with no cursor. Okay, so slide. Well, patch it. Well, you know what? If you want to pay for that, sure. And then this after this deflection, that's warranted. These extra time goals, right? No. Again. I'll show it again and keep a very, very... That's bullshit. I don't think he actually shoots this. Hold on. These extra time goals, right? No. Good pass. Again. Two animation delays there. I'll show it again and keep a very, very... He doesn't shoot the ball. That's an auto shot. Watch the bottom right. He doesn't shoot it, it's an auto shot. Yeah, his player does an auto shot there. Look at the bottom right hand corner. Oh, he says it too. <laughs> On his belly. Now people are like, you should have cleared the ball, right? Maybe. But trust me, no one clicks B in that situation. He's and right. He still should have got that parcel. Because the reaction time, the, the, the command is already being registered from the two different animations from the defender. So it registers like afterwards as well. And then it ricochets, as, when I show you again. Yeah. Ricochets of Vaughan straight to Pele, right? Now, keep a close eye on bottom iron corner. He did not shoot the ball. Yeah, he didn't. And he told me this himself after, right? But I'm showing you the proof. He did not shoot the ball the ai shot it for him yeah. so not only is the AI blocking every single shot the other went for me and the f mirroring my every single move it's now scoring goals against me what the fuck am i playing against is it me i thought i'm playing one 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 on one an opponent nah a human nah i'm playing a fucking ai this is ridiculous and listen i'm not gonna Start showing conspiracy theories around, but let me tell you something. That game was scripted. What else can I say? Huh? Guy comes up after and he's like, we're all playing the same game. No, 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 no. No, no. Okay? That cannot happen. My second goal, what is there to say? Why to completely kill me out of the game? His second goal, sorry. Maldini. Oh. I literally select Maldini and it goes straight through him. Well, what the fuck is this? So when I reviewed this game on the YouTube channel, I was talking about how that, for some people that don't know about that, 
uh, that's the acceleration touch. So that touch happens in two different occasions. It happens sometimes with your defender where he, um, you can be holding L trigger, R trigger facing forward and your player will do a drag touch backwards. It'll sometimes either be a controlled drag touch where it just allows the, the opponent to like run after the ball, take it and keep going. Um, but in that case, he got the worst version of it. His acceleration touch there with Maldini was a hard one. That's impossible to do. That is a game bug because you can't even do that from right sticking. A right stick wouldn't work there because you could see that it, it drags off of his uh, Maldini's left foot and then accelerates towards him, right? Uh, that happens for the ball roll touch. The ball roll touch hasn't been fixed yet. Um, and it happens for that when you're defending. So there's two different versions of that one when you're defending. Like I said, it's either they drag it a little bit, but they still go backwards. Even if you're not aiming backwards, you're just doing that to defend. Your player should face forward when he receives the ball, obviously. It should be an easy interception, especially, right, since he's controlling the player there. If he wasn't controlling Maldini there, he might have actually gotten that ball perfectly, which is the problem, right? Um, and then his, yeah. Huh? At that moment, as you can understand, I see in red. Red more than ever. Kicked a couple of chairs, started screaming, where the hell is the game and commission? Right? This is something, by the way. I asked for him three days. This is the same guy that banned me. And he still wouldn't show up. Why? Right? He would not come and face me. And I know he might be watching this right now. What the hell's up with that, huh? That's the most cowardly thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm literally there when you're hiding. So I kick up a couple of chairs, grabbed an empty water bottle, Smash it on the floor. The E-League studio guy comes. The, 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 the owner or whoever the fuck it is. He comes he's like, pick the water bottle up. I looked at him. I was going to rip his eyes out. He, what just happened to me? Huh? You don't even play the game, so you don't know. I should be smashing your whole studio up right now. And you're getting a, kicking up a fuss because I threw an empty water bottle. Pick the damn water bottle up when I please. Honestly, legit, I, the things that were going through my head at that stage, oh my god. And then, I get, the game commissioner, the other one comes. And I show him how, how I went out. How can this keep happening? Anyways, we went backstage, right? Because at that moment, legit, I, can't even, I, don't even, I can't even remember what was happening. Like, my head was so far gone. Um, we go backstage. And it's obviously me and EA, right? I let everything loose. Every single thing I could think of, right? Every single thing. They say the same thing. Usually I'm like, you know, oh, for FIFA 20, blah, 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 right? Usually I'm like optimistic. Maybe you, maybe this is going to be the one. Except they said the exact same thing last year for me about FIFA 19. And look how this turned up. Now we can only sit here and pray. But let me tell you something. I don't know. Okay, I don't know anymore. I'm not going to sit here and tell you this is going to be, FIFA 20 is going to be better than 19. I don't know. It can't be worse. But I don't know. Anyways. The commentary because a lot of fuss got kicked about this. This uh, game went to <laughs> extra time there, and I mean, Kurt will feel a bit unfortunate, but maybe that's a bit of karma, you know, for uh, <laughs> on stage antics you never. Now I don't think he meant any malicious intent with it, right? Um, I know him. I know he's been getting a lot of hate about it, rightfully so. Oh my God, my eye. But I don't think he meant any malicious intent with it. Um, but again, you. <laughs> You cannot say that. Now, I know it's me, so I was going to say it. But, like, this idea is what I've said since day one. This, that the fact that people are going out in these manners and you're acting like it's normal. It just, it's ridiculous. It's honestly crazy. It's mind-blowing shit. And, I, you know, you're going to be like, well, what do you expect them to say? Like, to, to, to say the game shit right there? Well, yeah, they should. But anyway, that's not going to happen. But at the very fucking least, you know what I mean? Just accept that something happened that's not right we can't keep pretending this is normal anyways the next day comes and i'm like well this is just gonna be chilled nah we're eating we go back to the studio we sit down to watch remaining matches and the same guy that i told you that kicked up a fuss with the board, water border the same ely guy he comes behind me and he's like you left some plates go clean them i'm like what First of all, we literally ate, and I remember looking, and there was maybe like a couple of plates, right? And this guy was literally acting like we've made a mess. And anyways, again, so I lost my shit again. Um, it's just stupid stuff, and I, I, I pretty much told him, like, what do you think you've got here? 
this is a, so I just want to talk about this real quick. Uh, this is a, a prime example. This is a prime example of uh, why I would never go to any of these things. I mean, dudes, did you guys know? You know what's funny? is like, I bash EA, right? But did you guys know that the review, the game review that I did for uh, the text versus megabit, did you guys know they actually copyright strike that? For you reviewing the gameplay? EA, I give EA a lot of, I give a, EA a lot of stick, guys. But they didn't copyright strike any of my gameplay reviews. Not even one. And it's funny because the second one they didn't copyright strike, but the first one they did. When I tweeted out saying they actually do it, I was like, hmm, they don't do it for the second one, but the first one they did. Okay. We'll let it we'll let it keep going. This is this is why I keep explaining to you guys, okay? I would never go to these places unless like it's reached i don't even i i don't want to i don't care to meet anybody i i keep the online to the online because whether it's it's twitchcon or anything like that i want to stick to just playing the game and making content because the stuff that he's explaining right now right this would upset me because okay the water bottle thing sure he threw it on the floor right? The empty water bottle. He would have picked it up afterwards. And if he didn't, he'd be like, yo, can you pick up the water bottle? Can you pick up the water bottle you threw like after the game? Because the two goals that you can see there were, were infuriating. And especially if you're competing, it's annoying. That's like, I, when I see these things, right? It just, it just, uh, uh, it just validates the point more that I made like three or four years ago. And people used to ask me like, yo, where, would you go to TwitchCon? And, like, and I told people no, because I want to stick to just playing the game and making content. Because seeing stuff like this, this is like unnecessary stress. Do you guys know what I'm saying? Like this is unnecessary stress you don't need. Like, you know, you've got, you think you've got a $50 million, million dollar mansion. This stuff happens at every single event. This is the normal stuff. This isn't like literally every single eSport event. You've got about 200 people. You, you think nothing's going to happen. Like you have, expect everything to be... I, I don't think he should have gone on in the interview when Castro was doing the thing. I will agree to that. And he even somewhat agrees to it too, right? I don't think he should have done that. But I, I think that like... When something like that happens, because he was in the, I think he was in the quarterfinals, right? When those two goals happened, you're out when those two goals happen. You know what I'm saying? It's infuriating, right? Spick and span. It's like, hold, it's like you've got a $50 million mansion. Why don't you host a pool party and you expect not to be any single little bottle or whatever plate? This is normal stuff. And this guy's sitting around acting like he's got the fucking literally made out of gold and we can't touch anything. So then, like, again, I got upset with EA again at this stage because, you know, I thought, like, they take our side, so they're having a discussion, right? EA and this guy. And I go up to them. As again, I lost my shit at that point. And um, go up to them. I'm like, so I literally go up to EA. I'm like, can you believe this guy? He's, like, literally treating us like shit. Because, by the way, no one could play their weekend league games. Again, I couldn't give two flying fucks, to be honest. But no one could play their weekend league games because this guy said we made a mess. So no one can play. Never happened at any other event, right? EA take his side. At that point, again, I probably would have got a five-year ban if not for what happened. So I'm there arguing. Next thing I know, about 20 of us come literally with me. And they're there, having my back, playing it what i've been saying and we just laid everything out right now i've never seen this in an event because usually literally every time i kick up a fuss it's there me by myself and i'll end up at the, as the bad guy and shit like that right but no listen not the most well-known guys right maybe not the most well-known guys but they're warriors with balls of steel and there we were all united for once right and i'm glad there was no other fucking big names you know because you know if i was with the big names you know what they would do just sit there and snicker they're pissies they wouldn't have done shit right and that's why we're in the mess we were in but no, everyone united, collected, and we laid it all right there, right? Laid it all. To the, to this Ely guy, by the way, I told you, know, price money is ridiculous. It's fucking garbage. 
as I'm, what do you think you've got? And I told him again, like, what is it? Because the Oscars were there that same night. I'm like, what, are you going to host the Oscars? Is, is this why, like, all this fuss? Is Brad Pitt going to be here tonight? Is what is going on? Like, kicking up the fuss like that. And with the yeah, it's the same shit. We just laid everything out. And I was just glad because for once we were united, right? And maybe in the future, that's what has to happen to change the shit we're in. Because we are in a fucking mess, honestly. Um, yeah, I guess the summary of it all was, listen, um... As, suck, as much as it sucked to go out like that, I'm not going to say I would have won the tournament, right? I had those three up next, and then I would have had Tex. So to beat those two would have been fucking crazy. But Dossery and Tex are... So, Dossery is so much fun to watch, too. Again, to, to get as far as I did, and almost pretty much be in the top four, again, with Dossery, Tex, Mega it, it felt like, yeah, this is where I belong. I've missed it so much. And I, I it fucking sucks how our year went, right? It fucking sucks, but... um. You know, next year I've got that hunger again, that they go again. Like I've never been had that. Like you know, this is where I belong. This is what I want to do. And and you know, these fucking events are jack shit without me. Okay, they're jack shit. The fuck wants to watch them? You know, what I mean, I make this event worthwhile. So maybe you get to see me again this year. Maybe, maybe I'll make playoffs. Hopefully, and with one fucking event, I made playoffs. Imagine that, crazy. And maybe there's an outside chance there's some E-Nations Cup or something like that where we can get to represent our nation. I don't know if we get picked because, you know, our country's small. I mean, if we're going to FIFA ability, we definitely, definitely should get picked. But I'll keep you guys updated. <laughs> In terms of videos and stuff, I don't know what's going to happen on this channel, but I just had to let loose everything. We'll see um, on Twitter. I don't know what we'll do. Um, just follow me on Twitter. I'll, I'll keep you guys updated over there. And one last thing, honest to God, Thank you for the support. Everyone's telling me the chat was legit, non-stop, curd, non-stop, curd. And for that, you know, that means a lot. I told you guys we win this from day one, right? This ain't going to be easy. It sucks that I don't have any more events. It sucks how our my year went. But God damn it, man. Starting next year, oof, we'll be there again. I promise you guys. Okay, I promise you guys. So thank you all for your support. And I'll see you again next time. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's funny because because if anyone has, has ever had the experience of uh, if anyone has ever had the experience of like, cause I you guys know I did that in the video like when I went there twice and it wasn't a good time. Like I, like those two experiences that I had, right, made me never want to go again. And like I understand where he's coming from in that regard completely. Cause it's like like you're being you're being treated like a piece of shit essentially so i definitely i definitely get where he's coming from but that's why i keep telling you guys right like when it comes to these types of things I don't want to be involved with it anymore because i'll give my two cents about like i talk to the gameplay guys and i'll give my two cents like you know this should probably happen for this and or whatever right and then like i'll just leave it at that i don't even do a confrontation anymore like if i think there's a video i need to share with them i'll be like okay i'll share this video with them but like going into details and paragraphs and all that stuff it's that's done for me, man. Like when I make the videos, it's just conversation with you guys. Like the the one where I did the uh, elastical skill move, I wanted to ask you guys, guys, do you guys think this is overpowered? It wasn't a thing where it's like a linear way of thinking for me, where it's like, yo, this is overpowered. Like, no, I wanted to get people's, I wanted to get people's thoughts about it. But to do all of that, just you know, I, I'm so done with it. Like. It used to be so much stress, but like those times were like really, uh, it wasn't great times, you know, it wasn't great times. So that's why like, I, I understand his point of view completely. Cause it's kind of like, it's kind of like, uh, like working a job and then like the people that you're working with or working for or whatever is like treating you like shit. It's very similar to that. And I, I'm telling you guys this right now, like I'm relatively calm and like a really cool person but if the e-league dude was like freaking out over plates or an empty water ball that i would have picked up later anyways like especially after those two goals in the quarterfinals of a competing tournament that i'm playing in it wouldn't be pretty you know what i'm saying so like i understand his point of view of that i don't agree with what what with what uh he did with uh with the castro situation like going on the mic and whatever i can understand his frustration because he wants to you know be on the streams and all that because anybody wants to right um but in a general sense, man, I, I, I definitely see where he's coming from, from past experience myself, like going to the, 
studios, you know, two, three years ago. And like, I, I understand where he's coming from for sure. It's um, not fun. It's not fun. So that's why I like, I just stick to doing my own thing and just streaming and playing now because stuff like that happens and it's just really frustrating, you know? Really frustrating. Um, yeah. What do you got? What are your thoughts on that, guys? What are your thoughts on that? <laughs>